Hey, this is Manny Fresh with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to delete the windows.all folder. Now this folder contains the previous windows update that you had prior to the new update that you installed. Or it could be that you upgraded windows from windows 7 to windows 10, whatever the case might be. So I use an application called 3 size free. This app, if I run as admin, and if I select the volume or the drive, it's gonna scan for all the files that I have, and it specifies the size. And I have a 120 gig SSD with a one terabyte drive, but the SSD contains a Windows installation, so I gotta every week or every month clean it out, make sure it doesn't get full 100%. What I noticed that I did a Windows update and I had this windows.all file um, folder. You don't need this program. You could also go to your folder here. And then if you go to this PC and then you go to your C drive, Generally, a windows.all folder will fall in the C drive right here. If we right click and go to property, we're going to see that is about 20 gigs in size. So that's definitely taking a huge amount of my memory, as you can see here. So I could just go ahead and delete this by going right click and delete. But this will take a long time and depending on your PC, this is going to take maybe an hour or so. But the easiest way to clean this out is not by selecting the folder and deleting the folder. The best way to do it is actually going down to here to search and put this cleanup. Select the drive where you see the windows.all folder. And once this opens, you want to click on cleanup system files. Make sure you click here. Then this will come up and then you want to select the drive again and you click OK. It's going to disappear from the background for maybe about 30 seconds. So don't panic if you don't see the disk cleanup appearing again. There we go. It's working in the background. Now if you don't have a solid state drive, if you have a 72 RPM or 54 RPM hard drive, this will actually take longer. Okay, so now it's searching for the previous Windows installations. All right, so now if I scroll down here, I'm definitely want to clean this up. Actually, I'm gonna clean everything up from here. And you're gonna see here in a second, the 21.9 gig, gig Windows installation. So there it is. So you select in here what you want to delete. I generally keep delete everything besides what I have in downloads. And this is a better process and will clean actually everything out properly. So once you select what you want, you go ahead and click OK. And then you delete, you click on delete files. And this is going to go through the process of deleting the windows.all folder and everything else that you selected. So this is just saying that if you delete this, you won't be able to restore your machine back to the previous windows. So in here, I'm just going to click yes, because I don't have any plans of going back to the old version. And this won't affect the current Windows installation that you have. This will basically just delete that and it will help you save storage on your hard drive. 
Okay, so once it's finished, just make sure you go back to this PC. Make sure here the space has increased. And then as you look, it's actually doing it right now. So just wait for that to complete, and that's how you get rid of the windows.all folder. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave your comment below, and please subscribe to my channel.